bad crash here at Talladega. Just a very, very bad crash. Mark Martin is involved. So is Rusty Wallace, Brett Bodine, Elton Sawyer. One car overturned in the banking of turn number one, got up into the catchments and came back onto the racetrack. I don't know who it was at the moment, but this is a very, very ugly looking crash. Boy, it just, once it went into that turn, once it started, Bob, it was, there's Ricky Rudd, he was involved. You see a lot of damage to his cars. The cars were running so close together, and uh, once this thing started, I mean, it was just everybody getting involved. Derek Cope, as you say, he was involved. He's trying to get his car back around. Here it is again. Take a look. It's going to happen up front with uh, Jeff Gordon and Mark Martin running side by side. Okay, Martin goes a little high there. Gordon gets into him. They both have to back off, and then the jamming up starts, and they get into the wall on the outside. Others start jockeying around. There's Derek Cope. He thought he got through that for just a moment, but Mark Martin's going to come right back up in front of him. And is that Ricky Craven? Yes, it is. Ricky Craven in car number 41 that's flipping over, went up against the outside wheel fence back down on the track and was hit again. Yeah, he got hit again as the car was rolling toward the apron of the racetrack. So Ricky Craven is certainly one that we have a great deal of concern about. Jeff Gordon is okay. He's climbed out of his car. Although it's damaged very badly, but boy, Ricky Craven really took a horrible, horrible ride. Very reminiscent of Phil Parsons' crash a few years ago. Yes, then. it was. Okay, here they are Gordon trying to go on the outside of Mark Martin. They make a little contact, and it sort of shoots Martin out into the wall. Then Gordon comes up, gets tagged, and spins around. And Ricky Craven, right in the middle of his car, gets airborne. You can see it flipping up to the outside wall, just coming apart, and then is hit down on the inside by Elton Sawyer. It looks like the car number 27. Ricky Craven may be out of the car. We'll confirm that in a moment. Here it is from Mark Martin's car. Mark just riding along, everything looking great as Terry Labonte goes by on the outside. And Mark starts to move up here, not realizing that Jeff Gordon is coming up on the outside of him. And then he gets into the wall, slams down on the inside, and boy, it's quite loose. He made pretty heavy contact with Ward Burton. Let's look at it again. See just how fast it happens. Man. Tony Irvin was involved. And within a matter of five or six seconds, the whole thing can uh, unfold. There they're removing some of the debris and throwing it over the uh, crash wall. You can see the retaining fence there is, is rather damaged. That's where Ricky Craven flew up into it. It did its job, however, and threw the car right back onto the racetrack. Now there is Rusty Wallace's car, and his day apparently has come to an end. And a very big disappointment for him as of course is the case with all these drivers but mark martin had come from the back of the field to challenge for the lead there's ricky rudd's badly damaged tied ford well we have an even more dramatic angle of this crash ned and uh, you can see craven's car overturn there and fly up and then down the banking with several cars underneath as the car overturned in the air and came to the rest of the box. Five cars went underneath him as he, when he hit that outside wheel fence on top of the cement wall, and it threw it back across the racetrack, crossed over five cars. Now from Brett Bodine's in-car camera. Just listen. from Mark Martin's roof cam. Okay, this is where it where it really started. It's going to happen beside of him as he moves up the racetrack here. He'll touch Jeff Gordon. So I see Terry Labonte goes by, and then they're still, now they're coming in to turn one. There's where he touches 
Jeff Gordon, Jeff, John and Brady down on the inside, and then four, it breaks the second The lights went out. Now the real time on this angle. Watch this. You're right, Ned. Five cars passed underneath Ricky Craven when he was in the air, and Jerry is with Ricky Rudd. Ricky Craven's car flew up into that catch fence. They're going to have to repair it before we can go back to green. John Kernan has an update on his condition. Well, I just talked to Ricky's crew chief, Charlie Presley, and Charlie tells me that Ricky is okay. He's alert. He's speaking, but he's got a, a big old raspberry on his arm is what Charlie is telling me. So that's some good news. He says he is shaken up, but they're not sure the extent of the injuries. But once again, Charlie Presley, Ricky's crew chief, telling me that Ricky is okay. He's alert, and he is talking. And he, uh, other than that, uh, we have no further reports on his condition, Bob. I'll take a raspberry on his arm right now, Ned. <laughs> yes, sir. For man. What he went through. That's that's good news to hear that there's the car. Boy, you're right, Bob. That that looks very much like the car that Phil Parsons wrecked here back in 1983 down in turn one. Not much left of him. Uh, and, in fact, it's over here in the Talladega right. uh, Hall, Hall of Fame, Fame here yep. at the International Motorsports Hall of Fame. Here it is once again. At the top of the of the line are Martin and Gordon, and that's where the trouble began. Looked like maybe Mark Martin tried to come down, but John Andretti was there, mm -hmm. and uh, Gordon was trying to go by on the outside, and boy, it just opened the door to Looks melee. Looks like Craven's car was launched over Mark Martin when he was hit by Hut Strickland, and when the car did get launched, it overturned a couple of times, went into the the debris fence and then down on the racetrack quite hard on the top and then it came to rest at the bottom of the racetrack.